Bill Wilson here at the new Lehigh Defense plant in Texas. I want to show you guys around today and get an idea of what we do here at the Lehigh Defense Manufacturing Facility. Since Bill bought the company, everything has been relocated here to Texas and consolidated here to this site. And so it's all consolidated as a brand new Lehigh Defense. One big difference between what we have now and what we had before is that this was purpose-built for CNC bullet manufacturing. The building is 210 long by 80 wide, which has 16,800 square feet. This place was built and designed specifically for these bar-fed Swiss-style lathes to manufacture bullets. Building from the ground up, we had the ability to design a facility around what we're going to do here rather than retrofit something that's pre-existing. I'm just excited to be here. Uh, look, we've got all these machines, all these green lights, all these green lights are machines running, making bullets. Look at what a state-of-the-art uh, state facility bill was built. And machine-wise, right now, we got 20 machines in the building and we got one more coming down from Arkansas. Each one of these machines is producing a bullet roughly every 30 seconds. The machines can run 20 hours a day, they can run six days a week. So that gives us the ability to produce about 2,500 bullets per machine, which multiplied across all the machines uh, enables us to produce about 50,000 bullets a day or 300,000 bullets a week. The, the multi-spindle, which is incoming, is going to give us an additional 90,000 bullet capacity on top of that. One of the advantages of a solid copper bullet is you can make a solid copper bullet do things that you can't do with a lead core bullet. What makes our bullets different is that they're lead free, they're CNC machined, meaning that they are, are formed while they're spinning on their axis rather than stationary in, in a transfer press. And so the fact that the bullet is, is made while it's spinning gives it increased stability. Lehigh Defense uses all copper. You don't machine lead, so we machine the copper. That enables us to make very quick changes. I mean, we can literally design a bullet in the morning, make and test a variation, and then a couple hours later, tweak it and make another one and test it, and test multiple variations of the same product all in one day. When we're in the design phase of the bullets, we can go through four, five, up to 10 different prototypes in a single day by changing the programming. You can only do that with copper. One of the benefits in working with copper, specifically in CNC copper, is that you can hold extremely tight tolerances. These bullets are down to the, the five tenths of a thousand. It's just a consistency from the machining process where we can hold these tolerances. Each one of these bullets have a, have a drill down the tip. That drill is within probably a half of a thousandth of the exact same depth every single time. So they're extremely uh, tightly controlled. We can get extremely consistent product and, and, and great quality out of it. Quality control has always been taken very seriously with Lehigh. We understand the importance of the product that we produce, but it is really brought up to a new level with the new Wilson ownership here. Our programs to ensure quality control are strict. Bullets are checked, first article 100%, and then there's lock control of every bullet that comes off a machine is controlled until a sample passes inspection. So no bullets coming off a machine are introduced into the finished product until they are 100% inspected. Those of you who know me very well, know that I'm a serious hunter, and specifically a serious hog hunter. And living here in, in Northeast Texas, uh, we got lots of hogs. And the, you know, they're a major problem for a lot of the ranchers and farmers and everything like that. So they're pretty much in, you know, public enemy number one here. So that makes a really good environment for me to test terminal performance on, on bullets. Lehigh Defense's bullets are designed for terminal ballistics. They're designed to deliver the most amount of damage to a target. I've shot pigs over the last five years with virtually every, every bullet out there. And I can tell you what, that there's, there's nothing that, that kills pigs and white-tailed deer faster than our control chaos bullet. What that bullet does, when it enters fluid, the front of the bullet starts peeling back and four distinct petals come off the bullet and, and radiate out while the base continues on and often even fully penetrates the animal. And that results in extremely quick incapacitation of the animal or, or in redneck bang flop. <laughs> so you have the best of both worlds. You have a quick upset on the front, a lot of copper fragments, 
completely destroying the lungs and the important tissue that to stop an animal or a human threat. And then you have a shank of a bullet that can give you a good exit wound for blood trailing if, if you need much of one. The Extreme Penetrator and Extreme Defender are non-deforming bullets. They're designed to do the opposite of what lead would do, which is deform on a target. These bullets are designed to stay intact, to maintain their shape and geometry. That's what causes the wounding on the target, is the flutes within the side of the bullet. A traditional hollow point has to deform to perform. With an extreme defense bullet, it does not deform at all. So as it keeps its shape, it uses the flutes to have this large wound channel. The tissue and the fluid come down these flutes, radiates out, it causes kind of almost a jet effect where it, it forces to the outside. It makes a nice permanent wound channel, but you also have a bearer blind bullet. It can run through all types of heavy clothing, windshield wood, cheap metal and car doors or things, whether, whatever you would need this bullet to do. It's able to hit that 12 to 16 inch, what the FBI considers perfect, and also gives you great turn performance due to the design of the extreme defense flute, the larger flutes that's in this bullet. People ask me all the time, well, how many hogs do you shoot? Well, I'm kind of down a little bit this year. I think I'm at hog 384 year to date, but I killed 611 last year. So, you know, I guess if you average it out, you know, I'm still in that 500, 500 a year range. Bill built the 300 hammer and the AR-15 platform specifically for high velocity and hunting application. And Bill, back in the early days before he bought Lee out of fence, he came to us and wanted a good control chaos bullet. We built a 110 for Bill, and since then he's perfected this 125. I'm holding the 125 grain control chaos and the 300 hammer. Bill has taken literally hundreds of hogs, personally done ballistic testing with this and looked at the turn performance in gel, but also in a lot of tissue. And this thing, flat out get it done for the hunter that's looking for a nice lightweight AR-15. You just don't get any better bullet performance than the 125 grain control chaos. Whether we like it or not, probably even within my lifetime, and I'm 69, lead bullets may be banned. California has already done it for hunting and some other states have got regulations on it. Probably at some point, all hunting bullets are gonna to have to be solid, solid copper. This is a 194 grain maximum expansion subsonic 300 blackout bullet. Lee Out Defense just recently redesigned this bullet. It is improved, it is enhanced. It comes in at a little better price point now. It is much more accurate, and you can see the large expansion is very, very effective on taking hogs and deer, and also a top self-defense projectile at subsonic velocities. It just doesn't get any better than this. The Lehigh Defense Plant here in Northeast Texas, we're strictly a projectile bullet manufacturer. We're not making ammunition here, and we're, we're only making bullets. And we're only making bullets here that we ship in bulk by the pallet. So everything shipping from this building either goes to Wilson Combat to be sold in 50 pack boxes or loaded into ammunition for both Wilson Combat ammo and Lehigh defense ammo, as well as all of our other strategic OEM partners like Black Hills and Underwoods, etc. Now that we have the bullet manufacturing, the barrel manufacturing, the ammunition loading all under one control, it gives us a lot more capability of, of precision to make sure that everything's going to work together as it should. We also get the benefit of taking the philosophy that Wilson Combat's had for the last 40 years in terms of quality and precision and now applying that to the bullet manufacturing as well. With uh, Bill Wilson and Wilson Combat ownership, I think one of the things that the that Lehigh Defense growing looking into the future is going to have because of Wilson Combat, he already has the best firearms. He has the best handguns, the most accurate handguns. Uh, his AR line uh, is nothing but top of the line. So now you have a premier bullet company, Lehigh Defense, under Bill Wilson's ownership, and then you have all these bullets and all this ammunition being tested in Wilson Combat firearms. We're not going to offer something for sale unless we can fully support it and unless we're 100% certain that it's a viable product for our customers. So we kind of went back to the basics. We focused on the 60 to 70 most important, highest demand parts. And now we're gonna broaden and start introducing more parts that are a little bit lower demand, more niche type products that Lehigh Defense built its reputation around. 
and we're going to offer those at the same quality that we uh, that we offer the 60 or 70 main SKUs at right now. So it's been a continual process of just continue to improve the product line. I, I just couldn't be happier with the growth and how we're taking care with the new Lee High Defense customers of the next generation. Hey, thank you guys for watching today. We hope you learned a lot about Lehigh Defense. We appreciate your business. Um, please like our video, subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment with, uh, with your thoughts, and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys next time.